Peggy， 今年六月我去了北京，这是我第一次到北京旅游。We visited three Chinese language summer programs, including Princeton in Beijing, Harvard Beijing Academy, and associated colleges in China. In this video, I will introduce four well-known historical sites in Beijing, three of which are UNESCO World Heritage sites. The Forbidden City, Ziqing Cheng, was the imperial palace of both Ming and Qing dynasty. It is located in the center of Beijing City. The palace is divided into two parts: the outer court in the south and the inner court in the north. The outer court was the political hub of the empire, whereas the inner court was where the emperor and his many wives lived. The Meridian Gate, facing the south, is the entrance gate of Ziqing Cheng. The gate leads you into the outer court of the palace. Today we came to Gugong. In the front, the Ming Dynasty is the Ming Dynasty. Today is a holiday, so we can't use the word "mountain" to describe so many visitors. The inner court of the palace. This is also where hundreds of women fought for the emperor's love and attention, and certainly for power. The Forbidden City in Mandarin we say Zi Jing Cheng. Zi Jing Cheng. The reason why it was called Purple Forbidden City is that it was intended to reflect. The purple constellation Polaris, which the ancients believed to be the center of heaven, thus the seat of celestial power. As the Chinese imagined Zhongguo to be the center or middle kingdom of the earth, revealed in the character Zhong, the Forbidden City was intended to be the center of all earthly power. Even the overall architectural structure of Ziqing Cheng represents the character Zhong. As many of you may guess, only royalty and those who served them were allowed in the city. That's why it was called forbidden. In 1750, Emperor Qianlong built the Summer Palace to celebrate his mother's birthday. It was later used as a retreat for emperors and empresses. In the 19th century, Western powers destroyed the palace, and parts of it were gradually restored. The Chinese name of the Summer Palace is Yi He Yuan, Yi He Yuan, meaning Yi Yang Chong He, to cultivate harmony and vitality. Yuan Ming Yuan was the imperial garden during the Qing Dynasty. In 1860, the British and French looted Yuan Ming Yuan Garden during the Second Opium War. It took three days to burn the entire resort down. Yuan Ming Yuan literally means perfect bright garden. 大家好，我是 Peggy， 我是维婷，她是我的同学。好，我们现在在哪里呢？我们现在在慕田峪长城。那现在我们正要做成这个是什么？索道，索道到那个慕田峪的上头。是的。好，我们等会见。我们在长城。The Great Wall of China measures 8,850 kilometers, which is longer than the distance from London to New York. When the Greeks were transitioning from an oral to a written culture, the construction of the early walls had already begun to protect Chinese states from the invasion of northern nomadic tribes. Centuries later, the first emperor of China, Qin Shi Huang, united the country, and the walls were fortified and extended. The Great Wall in Mandarin we say Chang Cheng, Chang Cheng. Literally means long wall. When we speak about our traveling experiences, we often say, "This is my first time, my second, or my third time doing something." This sentence structure is the focus of this lesson. Let's take a look at the structure. 这是我的 numeral 次 and then verb. For example, 
，这是我第一次来北京，第三次来中国。这是我第一次来北京，第三次来中国。This is I for the first time to come to Beijing, for the third time to come to China. 这是我第一次来北京，第三次来中国。One more example. 这是我第一次爬长城。这是我第一次爬长城。This is I for the first time to climb the Great Wall. Now let's take a look at a little bit more complicated examples where a verb is followed by a complement. In this case, to indicate the result of that action. Here's a sentence pattern. 这是我第 numeral 次 verb and complement. For instance, 这是我第一次见到中国皇宫建筑，这是我第一次见到中国皇宫建筑。这是 This is 我第一次 I for the first time. 见 is the verb to see. 到 the resultative complement. 中国皇宫建筑 Chinese imperial complex. 这是我第一次见到中国皇宫建筑。Now, if you were to read the history about Yuan Mingyuan Old Summer Palace for the first time, you would say, 这是我第一次读到有关圆明园的历史。这是我第一次读到有关圆明园的历史。This is I for the first time. Do is the verb to read. 到 resultative complement. 有关 about related to. 圆明园 old summer palace 的历史 history. 这是我第一次读到有关圆明园的历史 Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. 谢谢你们，再见。